perfect. Climbing has always been an art. It's about staying focused on what's right in front of you. Even when there's something on a bridge, like a critical find, or there's something in life that is challenging and new, climbing really hones in on that skill to be able to slowly, methodically work through that problem to get where you need to be. I originally decided to go into engineering because I had the thought and the passion that if I could use my skills to make a difference in just one person's life, that that's what I wanted to do. I started out as a recreational climber, as so many do, and from recreational climbing I got into rescue, and from rescue I kind of evolved into work at height using ropes because in those days there was no rope access. I was very fortunate to end up in a career that really fits my own personal passions and so uh, as a result PMI uh, is a place that has afforded me to do things that I otherwise would never have the opportunity to do. It's been a real struggle as a female in this job, um, just because we have different anatomy, we have different things we have to deal with. At the top of Big Mac, we were doing inspections and doing short drops. I had to stay up towards the top, which was the easy part, just so that I could use the facilities and take off my harness and do what I needed to do. It was really tough for me personally because you feel like you're letting your team down. It was a big mental challenge, and that was such a struggle for me because I want to be an equal team player. I want to be contributing as equally as my male counterparts were. I don't want to be singled out on a job because I'm a woman. I mean, I want you to forget that what, what gender I am, and I want you to just know that I'm doing a really good job. Kristen and Kira approached me about needing a harness that worked for them in the field. Uh, I knew there had to be a solution that from a program level we could resource them and get them to the right people to help develop something that was going to make their day-to-day -day a bit more equitable when it came to the rest of the team. The Hero Harness was designed to fit a woman's shoulders, to have a narrower profile over the chest, to not interrupt the parts of the chest that don't want to be interrupted. It has a waist belt that's conformed to the body. It fits our hips. It moves with us ergonomically the way that a, a harness really should. And most importantly, perhaps, it releases to make it easy to drop your pants and go to the bathroom if you need to do that. It's just going to help me basically do my job better. Pushing our limits as women in rope access helps us to grow individually as people and really helps the whole community draw together. Michael Baker has supported me in my endeavor to promote women in the industry by giving me the time and the resources to collaborate with companies like PMI. My hope is that as we continue to break down barriers for women in the industry, that more women will be encouraged to get into careers that get them off the ground. <laughs>